frick. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? You've got the floor. Do I have the floor? Do I? Yes, do you I? do. Relax. I just want to take some pictures. So three, two, one, and scammer get scammed, buddy. That's what no, you no, get. No, You're no, not no, getting no. that. If there are five foolish people around you, you did not count well. There are six. Ha. Bring it on home, zombie. Come on home, man. We got to get the go, zombie. Here's the go. Immediately now. Immediately well. now. Immediately now. I'm telling you right now. I seen see what him. I needed to see. Christian joke of the day. What's the best vitamin for a Christian? B1. My pronouns are U-S-A. My pronouns are U-S-A. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sir, please. Look at me. Don't touch nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't look at nothing. Don't eat nothing. And don't smell nothing. Do I make myself clear? I should get some sleep. <laughs> hey man, I think you got him. You want what he's having? No. That's what I thought. Justice. This. Hmm. Be nice. I'm finding it. It take you that long to it find does. it. It does. It does. <laughs> hey. Hi, um, what are, what are the benches for? What are these down here? The kneel? Oh, oh, not, not yet, okay. How do you know? How did everybody know the words to this? There's another book? There's a hymn, there's another book? I thought it was just the Bible. Hey, sorry, um, who is Saint Paul? Like, how many saints are there? Are there a lot? You know, this guy's kind of monotone. Like, I feel like we could jazz it up a bit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. How did you guys know to say that? When you're warmed up, start with the first one. Ready? Carry the TV. Carry the TV. That's our first one. Very subtle. Go to big screen. Big screen, a little wider. Next one's my fish was this big. My fish was this big. If you're a liar, you can go out there. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Jesus loves you. Grace. Next one's hold my baby. Hold my baby. Got dueling light bulbs. That's our next one, dueling light bulbs. Got goalpost. Everybody knows goalpost. Throwing a heartburn. A lot of people like to do heartburn. 
Double heartburn, right back to go post. What's my favorite? Mufasa. Mufasa, that's my favorite. Things I saw Christians post on Facebook. My granddaughter drew this beautiful picture of Jesus. Praise the Lord, God is great. God always finds a way. Type amen if you support the troops. The myth of consensual sex. Isn't there somebody you forgot to ask? I consent. I consent. I don't. This is what your mouth looks like to a Christian when you cuss. So knock it off now. Jesus is my face mask. If God wants women to wear earrings, he would have made hole in their ears before birth. Earrings has never be his plan. Dear, even tiny earrings on your ears will take you to hell. Repent! Jesus is the best doctor. I start every day with the wordle. God's wordle. Please use my pronouns. Free, Christian, patriotic, nationalist, American. I pray that Jesus is the next dominant variant. Masculinity. Because when shit hits the fan, no one looks for a feminist. 2,000 year challenge. Still white. Hey Jacob, real quick, my friend told me that she thinks that you're trying to pursue me to be your wife and I just have to be up front with you. I had a dream a couple weeks ago that I was drawing in the bakery that I work. So just follow me, okay? Drawing in the bakery. I drew in the bakery, Andrew Baker. Obviously I took that as God telling me that I'm supposed to marry Andrew Baker, but he's too busy guarding Natalie's heart right now. <laughs> so anyway, then I thought about it. Everyone around here calls you Jacob Mac and we sell macaroons. So maybe I misread this whole thing. So all that to say is I really think we should give it a shot. And what better place to do that than the Halloween prayer chapel where we can cancel out all of the ritual curses that the witches put on the Halloween candy and we can pray blessings on them instead. And just so you know, it's gonna be our very first prayer meeting. So I am only comfortable with the pancake handhold, but if the spirit leads, I might intertwine a finger. An Egyptian named Pop-Tart, an officer of Pharaoh, and the captain of the guards brought him to the Ishmael, who had brought him there. The Lord was with Joseph. Mm, I should highlight that. Joseph was well built and handsome. Mm, I should highlight that too. Joseph was fine. Top of the line. Cute face, little ways, and could say, get behind thee, Satan. Amen, Joseph. After some time, his master's wife looked longingly at Joseph and said, sleep with me. <gasps> No, she didn't. So how could I do this immense evil and how could I sin against God? Right, Joseph. Although she spoke to Joseph day after day, he refused to go to bed with her. Not her begging. Forget Potiphar wife. She a pot of hoochie. Pot of nasty. Pot of lies and deceit. Now one day when the house was empty and none of the household servants were there, she grabbed him by his garment and said, sleep with me. <gasps> What in the Law & Order SVU was going on here? I should highlight something. Leaving his garment in her hand, he escaped and ran outside. I know that's right. You better sprint. I found peace in your violence. Can't tell me there's no point in trying. Wow, how about that worship session? Oh my God. I could not great. believe it. No, that was great. Man, thank you so much for leading us into God's presence with that worship session. That was amazing. Hey, Amen. Oh hey, one thing. Tony, shut it down. Tony, that's it. That's it, buddy. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Students, it's great to see you on Wednesday night tonight. Now, you'll notice we have the middle schoolers and high schoolers together for worship, but we're going to be splitting you up for the service portion. High schoolers, you're with me. Serious talk tonight. We're talking purity. Sex, saving yourself for marriage. That's what's on the agenda tonight. Let me stop you right there. That's disgusting. Middle schoolers, you're with me in the parking lot. We're going to do some dogs ball. And guess what, Pastor? What's that? We got some ice cream. We got some ice. And then the right. cream. I'll see you, bye. All right, go get Middle schoolers, you're with me. All right, you guys have fun, middle schoolers, with Pastor Mark. You definitely don't need to hear this conversation at all. It's so great. High schoolers. Good to see you this Wednesday night. Let's go ahead and kick it right off. Turn your Bibles to Songs of Solomon. <laughs> Good afternoon, you're through to Heaven's call center. Gabriel speaking. Do not be afraid. How can I help you? Just call in to confirm that I'm not on God's 2023 worries list. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I just want to make sure that I won't have a tough year like I did this year. Your name is Gary, right? Yes, it is. So just looking through your records, I can see you were at a prayer meeting only just last week. Right, and... And in that prayer meeting, Sister Agnes said the following words in her prayer, and I quote, Lord, I ask that you give us faith like Joseph. Uh, you can turn our whole family against us so that your will will be done. 
Lord, I ask that you give us faith like Job. You can take all our wealth away and make us truly rely on you. I pray that you send us to difficult places where your word needs to be heard. Places such as prisons or in countries that persecute Christians. We want to risk our life if that is what you want from us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you recall that prayer? Or does that prayer have anything to do with me? So, unfortunately, you said amen to that prayer, which we all know uh, means I agree. Uh, therefore, you've automatically uh, been subscribed to God's 2023 Warriors list. And there's nothing that I can actually do about that. Surely you can't do that. <laughs> so according to the terms and conditions of your contract, sections Proverbs 18, 20 to 21, my hands are actually tied and there's nothing I can do further to help you on this query. But surely you can't do that. Surely.